What do we make first of Elon Musk even being there present? He was, of course, meeting with the wealthiest man uh, as well, but also meeting with Macron, too. This is about bringing technology to France. So Elon Musk has talked about creating a battery factory in Europe, and uh, he's got sort of lots of European politicians uh, essentially begging him to do so. So he met with, as you mentioned, with uh, French President Emmanuel Macron uh, earlier today, and, and Macron gave a tweet of him shaking Musk's hand saying, let's work together. Um, he met uh, yesterday with uh, the Italian leader, uh, Giorgio Maloney, um, and, who, and he's Apparently talked about potentially putting the battery factory there. People have talked about Tesla putting this battery factory in Spain. And so he's sort of got, as sometimes happens with these kinds of investments, sort of politicians desperately trying to get him to invest in their country and is using that uh, as a way to sort of, um, you know, gather them around him. And, 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 and he has made himself the center of attention in that respect. Thousands of people, Alan, at Viva Tech. Elon Musk walks on stage. There's a big reaction. Talk to us about kind of the star power of this man in France in particular. So, so it's a funny thing because um, France is not a very pro-business environment in many respects. Uh, I mean, it's become much more so under, under Emmanuel Macron, but still sort of in terms of popular public opinion, business people are not generally heroes here in the way that they can be uh, in the U.S. Uh, specifically. But Elon Musk has managed to really transcend that. Um, you know, in addition to meeting with politicians, as you pointed out, he had lunch with Bernard Arnault, um, who, by the way, even though, again, their, their relative uh, wealth goes back and forth on who's the richest man in the world, Arnault is not like a star like Musk is. I mean, he walked into this room. You could feel the energy and the desire that people had for Musk to, uh, to be there. They had to move it from uh, you know, their original venue to a new uh, place where they had 4,000 seats so they could fit all the people who wanted to come see him. Uh, when yes. At the end of this, of this sort of 45-minute session, when, um, when Musk agreed to take questions, it was, it was like pandemonium in the hall. It was really, yes. He really is like a, a rock star, which is very surprising here.